What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys clicking on today's video. I want to personally thank each and every one of you guys for all the love and support you guys have given us already starting out this 2024 season. We had a phenomenal race with the Crown Stock and the FFR number 13 RSX and that Enduro race at Southern. And we just had an overwhelming amount of support and messages comments from you guys and it just means the world so i want to thank you i want to also welcome all of the new subscribers to our channel if you are new here thank you so much for supporting our team uh, i feel like we are having just phenomenal growth and we hope that the quality videos our team have brought to you guys is worth subscribing to our channel so we really appreciate that we're trying to bring quality content this year and that is our goal here at ffr and also just to spread the love of the Lord because that is the number one reason why we've started this channel is for our family to look back, but also for us to show you guys how much Jesus loves you through our family and through our racing. And so that's our number one goal and mission here is just that you guys know that you're loved by the Lord and that we can show you guys that racing is also, also important to us as well. So with that said, uh, I'm gonna show you guys today what we are doing in the FFR shop. I'm getting ready to go back on a seven night shift at work. So the videos are gonna be spread out over a little bit of time, but overall we're gonna get some stuff done. So this is a big, big step and moment in this Pure Stocks uh, journey, you can say on this channel, because I'm almost to the end of being done with all the fab and the body work. And uh, so we've just got a little bit of things left to do before we completely strip and sand this thing down and paint it, which I hope to do by the end of this video. So. And uh, I'm really sad to see this nice bright red fluorescent orange, whatever you want to call it, 53 go away. But I really do believe that by the end of this video, when this thing is blacked out, that it'll be fire. So that's our goal. So I'm gonna flip this camera around, show you what I have left to do, some of the stuff I've already done. Again, thank you guys for clicking on the video. If you haven't subscribed and you'd like to follow along on our 2024 racing season journey, be sure to do that. Y'all check out what I've got. So first things first, I've dropped my heads off at the machine shop. I got all my head parts in. Um, I showed you guys that in the last video. So they have been dropped off at the machine shop. So while we're waiting on that, that's gonna be a separate video, getting everything put back together and getting this engine put back in the car. For now, we're gonna try to 100% wrap this thing up. I've already showed you guys the visor's done. We've got that, which a lot of you guys voiced your opinion on not uh, covering this window. Y'all kind of think that it you know, takes away from the uh, Monte Carlo look. I may end up cutting that back out. I'm not sure. It depends on how it looks when it's black. But the main thing that I've done is I've started fabricating this dash. I was able to completely cut out around this bar, this Earnhardt bar that I added. And what I've done is I've built my own dash. My buddy let me use his brake again. So I've got this built uh, so that I can start getting the dashboard in. And you will see that I put this bar in that goes across the bottom. Let me move this out of the way. And what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna put our dash across there. I've already, off camera started making myself a bunch of templates to put this in and you can see this is how it's going to go just like that and so once i get that in this is how it'll look it'll be really nice all the way across so i've got that template done and i've also cut this piece out which this will go right here let's see if i can do it one-handed uh maybe not yeah so like that and so that will connect right over there. So once I get the other template done, then I'll be able to put all of this right here onto the main piece and then put the dash in. Once we get that done, then I can take my speedometer, or not speedometer, my tack and my temp oil pressure and then my switch panel and get it cut back out and fab it in and that'll be a wrap on that dash. So we'll do that off camera and show you guys how that looks. You can see that I have gotten the trunk piece back on. So this is pot riveted back in, it's nice and solid. And I have built me some flaps to go right here. So this flap is done. So that way I can get in there to the battery. And I've built that battery box so you can put this on and close it up. And this is so that you can get to the fuel. So I cut that back out. 
So now I don't have to uh, take the trunk off and all that. I've got plenty of room to just come right here, pull the gas cap off, fuel up, and go back on the track. Hopefully I never have to fuel up but once. So anywho, so that's that. Uh, really happy with the way that turned out. The last thing I got to do is I've got to build me another sheet metal piece to go across the back. And then once I get that back piece done, I have to go ahead and put this uh, last piece here on. Then what I think I'm gonna do is take this thing down to dad's shop and work on these pieces right here with closing in so that dirt doesn't go flying up into the, uh, the back of the car. So that's where we stand right now. Um, I have officially decided that I'm gonna wait on the front. I'm not gonna tackle any of this nose piece or any of these fenders like we talked about in the last video until I get the weight of the engine in the car. I do not want to mess up and uh, not know where my hood sets. And so that's another reason why that thing's all janky like that is because of that. So uh, that's the game plan there. I'm gonna wait on the front end until the engine gets placed back in the car so that I know exactly how this car is sitting. So that's where we're at. Brought you guys up to speed on where the pure stock is. Next video or a couple of videos coming soon. It's almost time for Uriah to get his go-kart out. We've got his first practice February 3rd. So I'm really excited about that. We're about to get in here and start stripping down his go-kart. We're going to paint it, get the frame, get go away with the pink, get it uh, going with. And I believe he's going with an army scheme. So I'm really, really excited to see how that turns out. But for now, we're going to fast forward. I'm going to jump off of here, fast forward, get this dash done, and also probably try to get that other side closed up, and we'll come back and I'll show you how it looks. Here we go. Dash is in. I think it turned out phenomenal. I still have to, like, round off some of these edges and stuff like that. But look at how good the fitment is. I mean, I got everything cut out really nice. You just got to clean some things up, but you can see here how I did it. I built that lip to where it bolted or not bolted, pot riveted right back in to this top. So once all that's painted, it'll be kind of seamless. So there you go. So you can see I cut this down to where the shaft works. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of uh, sheet metal right here to cover that hole like that. And then I'm going to put a piece of sheet metal under here to cover that hole and that'll be done. Then all I have to do is come over here and uh, cut out my switch panels. So my switch panel will go right here. And then like I mentioned, all of my gauges will go on that side. I like the way it looks, but I ran out of time for today. I gotta go and get ready to go to work. When we come back, we'll tackle this piece right here. And that should almost complete it besides the back piece, which I told you guys which will probably jack this thing way up. I may even take this thing back off and we'll try to fabricate the piece that goes to these bars right here. And then pretty much uh, we'll be able to sand this baby down and get ready for some paint. So I'll uh, catch you guys tomorrow. We would like to give a shout out to our video sponsor for today, Hypa. Hypa believes that working in the home and garden should be a fun and rewarding experience. That's why they have made it their mission to provide you with everything you need to get the job done right. They also have an all-in-one destination for home and garden enthusiasts on their YouTube channel, Hypa Parts. They offer quality replacement parts, top-notch tools, and expert instructional videos to show you how to install a wide range of Hypa Parts to maintain your small engines and diagnose common problems. They also have special promotion announcements and full playlist of other YouTubers installing and using their parts. So also make sure you subscribe to their channel to follow along. You can join Hypa as one of thousands of people who use their quality parts just like us. We appreciate them sending us these products because it really made clearing our land a lot easier and also getting ready for the spring season. So you guys be sure to support the companies that support us. And again, we appreciate Hypa for sending us these products to try. Now let's get back to the video. And we're back, but we're back with an empty shop. Look at this. <laughs> we have go-kart pieces, but no go-kart. And we have no race car. I'm gonna tell you guys why though. 
we have good and we have bad news. So sometimes plans don't go according, you know, plans don't go according to how we want. Um, I told you guys that I wanted by the end of this video to have the pure stock painted. Well, the good and the bad news. The bad news is, is that for the last two or three days, it has been so overcast and wet with condensation in the air that there's no way that I, possible that I'm gonna be able to paint my car without it just looking like absolute garbage. Um, the moisture, the humidity, it was like below freezing and now it's like in the seven, 65, 70 and it's moisture and there's just no way I'm gonna try to paint in here. I've gotta paint outside, but it's just not gonna happen. The good news is because I made that decision, I have decided to change plans a little bit. I can't stand it. I know I talk about it all the time, but the front end on that car is goofy. I don't like the way it looks. It frustrates me that I, you know, the back of the car looks decent, the top and the visor looks decent, and then the goofy old front fenders, and it's just all janky, so. I reached out to my buddy, Ronnie Roberts, over at Roberts Race Cars in Socher, Mississippi. He's a little bit of ways away from me. And I said, dude, can you build me a body? He builds race car bodies. I, I said, I just need just the front fenders and the hood. And he was like, absolutely. So what I'm gonna do is the car's not here because I'm gonna walk down and show you guys, I've got it on the lift of what the game plan is for the next video. But what I'm gonna do is I am going to sand the car down, get everything sanded, all the sheet metal stuff done. And then I'm actually in the next video gonna take the car to Robert's Race Cars and get the whole front end redone, get the fenders right, get the a new hood and get the nose and all that stuff done. So it's bad news that I didn't get as far as I wanted to. So I'm sorry about that. But like I said, I cannot paint in this uh, condensation and this this humidity because it just, I tried to use some primer on Uriah's go-kart. I'm making that video at the same time and I sprayed it on the cart and it literally just dripped off. And I was like, there's no way I've spent all this time on the pure stock for that to happen. But we're gonna go down to dad's shop. Uriah's go-kart is gone. There's a video coming out on that separately. We just dropped it off at the blaster to get blasted and painted. The engine, the heads are almost done. They should be done in the next couple of days. So we'll get all of our engine back together. But for now, I'm gonna go show you guys the uh, car, what I've done to it at dad's lift, and then uh, we'll wrap this one up. So we've made it down here to the shop. You can see we got the cars stacked in here because of the, the weather outside. But check this out. The pure stock has taken over the lift, which is really cool to See this car up on the left. Y'all check it out. <laughs> but I'm going to show you guys uh, what we've got here. So this is why the car is down here. I decided, um, so I've got all this side done. I've already showed you that. I've got the dash done. I don't know if I showed you guys, but yeah, this piece is on. Look at this. So I finished that piece. So that piece of the car is now on. It turned out really nice. But what I decided to do is the back of this thing because of the way it sticks out i want to close this back off without buying a plastic piece so what i did is i came under here and i got this bar dad to weld this bar on and it lines up even with this right here and this is where they had the black piece put in but what i wanted it i wanted an, i wanted another piece down here that went flush with that so that i had something to bend and close this bottom off and so you can see they already closed that piece out and they had a piece of sheet metal that ran all the way along the bottom of this car to close this whole back end in. So whenever this car was shooting rooster tails out, it didn't just cover this whole back end. So that's the game plan is dad welded this bar in for me. And I'm gonna spend a little bit of time trying to fabricate some nice corners right here to, to uh, close in this. And so that all this whole entire back is completely closed in and then take under here and take a piece of sheet metal from here. And may, I made this flush right here so that that sheet metal goes all the way up to about right here or so. And then this piece actually goes up and connects to right here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lip right here. And so this will be completely boxed all the way in 
to where no mud and dirt comes flying out from under there. But that's the game plan. So that's why with this humidity, uh, you can see, I mean, it's just, you kind of got moisture on the cars. Why I decided to postpone painting it. And I also figured out that my shock is bent. Can you guys see that? So it goes up and then kind of turns. <laughs> but uh, like I said, I appreciate you guys watching. I cannot uh, tell you guys how excited I am to get this redone. I just, there's way too much room right here. Like this, this can come like way down here and I could put sponsors and all up there. And I just, I don't like the way it looks. This fender has been bent. So like that, that's been beat out where me and dad beat it out. And then we also got this spot right over here to where this side has been all beat out. And it just, I think it'll look way better when this hole is not like enough for me to park another car right here. So that, if that makes sense. But anywho, so that's where we stand. So I appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Like I said, we're very thankful for all of the support that you guys have given us on our last few videos. Sorry I didn't get as far as I wanted to on this, but now for the next video, now that I'm where I am, I can really take my time and try to get the sheet metal done, get the car prepped, and hopefully I, I get off work. I've got two more night sets, but hopefully on the seven days that I'm off, we're supposed to have some really warm weather, and that way I can get out here, sand it, get it, you know, the car wax and grease removed, and paint it and prep it and get it really nice. So that way I can take it over to uh, Ronnie Roberts to get the um, front end redone. And then hopefully by this weekend, we'll have the engine back and I can stab that in. So that's where we're at. Uh, again, you guys be sure to check out Hypa. That link's in the description. We appreciate them uh, supporting us on this video. And also you guys, if y'all wanna support us, uh, whether financially, or if you just want to support us with subscribing to this video, uh, to this channel, that also helps us big time. Give us a like if you enjoyed this video. Let us know what you think. And uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing you on the next one. Like I said, I was uh, filming Uriah's go-kart video. So that should be coming out soon. And then also Travis is going to give us an update, which we're excited to show you guys about that. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you in the next one. We're back here at Mako Fabrications. This is the same guys who did my uh, other Camaro. But there's his cart sitting right there. So he is going to get it blasted, primed, and painted gloss black. So we'll uh, see you guys in a couple of days when we come pick it back up.